Instagram, how are you? And welcome to the Instagram Live today on network marketing and entrepreneurship. We have a special guest coming out with us today, patrolling Oz, Shana and Tom. Um, they've just jumped onto the call now, so if I do see them request to join the live, I will accept it. Right, bringing these two legends on right now, or it might just be one of them, not quite sure. Let's see what happens when they jump onto the call. Hey, Legend. Hey, Brody. How are you? I'm doing amazing. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm just turning up the volume. All right. And I'll bring this up a little bit. Okay. Can you see me okay? Yep. Perfect. How are you feeling? A bit nervous. <laughs> Have you done many of these before? I'm um, not the IGTV ones, no. Okay. When I first started my business in network marketing three years ago now, it might have been maybe month two or month three. I tried to really make it a, a weekly thing where I would do an interview with somebody else in the community. And I found yeah. it was really helpful to just sit there and be in, interviewed by someone who'd had a lot of success. So all you had to do was really answer it. And then you could leverage that as content to use on your page at, an, at another date. Um, and then the more and more success that you have, you can actually, or even now you could start interviewing other people. Yeah. And using that as realistic content on your page too, so people can get value from it. They can see it's more more than just you doing it, and therefore they're more likely to build trust with you as well. So okay. um, what we're going to do is because I started this live, at the end of this call, I'll have the option to actually save this as an IGTV. Um, I've only done a couple of these, so there's a few different ways to do it. So what I think we'll do is I'll save it as an IGTV. I'll tag you in it. Um, that way anyone who watches it, who comes to my page, can come, come check you out as well. Yeah, because awesome. they might resonate with you more than they resonate with me, and that's fine. Um, and then on top of that, what you can actually do is, I did a live interview the other day. Um, you may or may not have seen it with a lady called Morgan, an absolute powerhouse. Um, and she wasn't able to save the video at the end. So what my video editor did is she actually did a screen record. So she just yeah. watched it and put on screen record. And now she's edited that up into a piece of content as well. Um, awesome. So you you might find in during this interview that you say something, you know, something comes out of you like a minute's worth and it's really, really powerful. And you might want to create a snippet out of that and then boost that to your audience as a piece of content as well. Awesome. Thank you. Perfect. So how long have you been in entrepreneurship now? Oh, 10 months now. And it's gone so quick. <laughs> That's amazing. What were you doing beforehand? Um, so beforehand I was in nursing and I've done so many different things. Like I've done retail management, um, low ticket sales. And then I went into nursing because um, my passion is to help people. And I thought, well, that's the way to go. Um, yeah. Perfect. So had you ever done any kind of multi-level marketing or network marketing prior? So I've done a few low ticket things um, yep. like Norwex, Avon, when that was around. But um, yep. nothing as big as this. Yeah. Okay. And do you think it was because of the compensation plan that you didn't have as much success? Or do you think it's because um, you just didn't really go all in on that back then? No, I, I do. I really think I went all in. I do that with everything that I do. Um, okay. I, definitely the compensation plan because it's the same thing, you know, um, working in management and the low ticket sales. I thought with one of those, I would surely have got, um, you know, something out of it but it was just the same cycle you know paycheck to paycheck in the end so I thought no nah, it's not for me so okay what about before you ever got into network marketing before you ever sold something or referred people to a system did you already have a belief around network marketing because a lot of people do have like this sticky stigma around oh I don't want to sell shit to friends and family or that's a pyramid scheme or anything like that did you have any of those kinds of beliefs before getting started yeah, I never wanted to go down that road. Um, you know, I was sceptical of all that as well. I didn't want to have to pressure other people into buying. Yeah. Okay. And what was the switch for you where you were like, well, you know what, this may or may not be like that, but I'm going to try it. Um, well, it will come down to like we had two incomes coming in and there was just so many outgoings. Like it didn't balance out for us. Um, we needed something. So we literally did so much research beforehand. Um, and when we come across this, this was so different. And it's not, um, it's not as selling as such, you know, and it felt, I felt more comfortable in myself. So, yeah. 
So I imagine for somebody like you who doesn't necessarily, not everybody loves selling, but it's still important to understand that skill, but you need to believe in what it is that you're doing. So if subconsciously you know how difficult it's going to be because you're only making 50 bucks on a product sale or whatever it is, then you might not be putting in the extra effort it takes to persuade and influence people to actually join your team. That's why it's important to really study and understand your compensation plan no matter what it is. And I've got, you know, people from all different multi-level marketing companies that follow me. So I never want to shit on a compensation plan or say one's great and one's not good, yeah. but they're, they're not all equal, but you definitely need to take the time to understand your comp plan. That way you can truly believe in it because if you really do believe in it and you can see yourself doing consecutive 10,000, $20,000 months, then you're going to do whatever it takes to grow and build your team. Um, yeah, absolutely. So what's been your biggest achievement uh, so far in the last you know, 10 months? Oh, biggest achievement. Um, just the turnaround in myself, to be honest. Um, yep. When I jumped on board BYU, I really didn't think, um, for me, I just thought it'd be like a business plan and help me with my business. But it, it has, absolutely. But for me, it's helped me more than that. Like my mindset, personal development, I've just done a complete 180. And yeah, I feel amazing for it. So had you done any previous systems prior that had trainings and funnels and all the rest of it? No. Nope. Okay, perfect. So this was your first real, you had done multi-level marketing before and, and, and did you have a coach? Did you have training or anything like that? Oh, no, okay. not really. No. Okay. All right. So definitely be, build your empire university would be, you know, a, a pretty good tool for you because it's got the step-by-step -step training. You have the sales funnels you can use, the community, the team meetings, etc. Um, what's been the, the, the most help or the biggest tool um, or the biggest uh, advantage to you having the Build Your Empire University system? Is it the copywriting? Is it the mindset training? Is it the how to create a swipe up ad? If there's one thing that for you helped you build your brand the most, and I don't know, what have you done about 15,000 in volume sales now, right? Like that's, yeah. that's a lot of sales. There's a lot of people in multi-level marketing who will never gross that amount of money. And, you know, you've done that in less than 10 months. Or realistically, you've probably done a lot of that in the last couple of months, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Only in the last couple of months when I actually put the effort in because before I was in nursing, I didn't really put much effort in and then things changed and, yeah. Okay. So, Are you still working at your job now? No. No, I resigned oh. in June. So Amazing. That this is, awesome. is my focus, you know. Okay. So. Congratulations on resigning. How did that Thank feel? You. Was that scary? Uh, yes, but it was more scary thinking about if I hadn't have resigned and what my life would still be like, yep. you know, giving this more effort. Um, yep. For me, I knew it would um, give me more results. So, Okay. So you see, when people hear the job nursing, they would imagine that that's a dream career. You know, you've got to do a lot of study. You've got to do all the right things, get into it. What were some of the pain points for you working in that kind of industry? Oh, uh, there was a few. I mean, it, I loved it myself, you know, I loved helping people. But for me, just um, because, especially where I live, you know, there's, um, there was only the casual positions. And there's a lot of that around. Um, and Tom works away, my partner, Tom works away in the mines. So when he's home, that's when I had to do my shifts, because it was late, and it was nights. And I couldn't go and do that with having children. And um, mm. we've got no family here. They're all in the UK. So, um, mm. yeah. So for me, it was just such a struggle. And then I would go off and do my shifts and I would miss out on time with Tom, you know? So for me, it was the struggle. It was the, um, it was just so draining for me. I can see that. And I could feel some real emotion there where you spoke about, you know, with Tom and like being away from each other and all the rest of it. Yeah. And I imagine that was really, really difficult. And now, you must have like a glimmer of hope that, wow, maybe I will be one of these successful people online, right? Because you're starting oh, to definitely get some wins. Yeah, oh, your eyes open up when you come into this. And I, I never thought that I would have, I used to have small goals. And yep. my goals, are like, like my small goals are like, oh, let's get an extra $500 a month. Or, yep. you know, my goals are massive now. And yep. it's, it's a complete change, yeah. What, what is a realistic goal? for somebody with your kind of ambition using the BYU system? Um, a realistic goal, I would say to completely replace your income. Yep. Um, and to have options, you know? Yep. To have options in life. Yep. I never had that before, and now I have.
Flexibility, freedom. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Flexibility of income. I imagine that you could more than just replace, I mean, replacing your income is great and you get your, you get your time back, but you're still just one yeah. level above where you were. Like I imagine that you could smash straight through that as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And my thing always used to be um, about, um, sorry, I'm a bit nervous still. That's okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, just having, going out and having um, experiences with no restrictions, you know, that's what I want to do for me and my family. That's amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> um, yeah. What's one bit of advice you have for somebody who's brand new and they don't necessarily have to be doing what we're doing, but they're in multi-level marketing, they're in network marketing, they've just started and they're, you know, what, what's the road ahead for them? What should they expect and what kind of attitude should they have going into that, would you say? I'll definitely have the positive mindset, you know. There's always going to be times where you're like, I can't do this, I have no experience. It's all there. Everything's there for you. You've just got to trust in the process. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Where do you see yourself in 90 days from now? 90 days. I have goals. They're everywhere, all around my office. <laughs> um, so 90 days, um, I am nearly on my way to retire, semi-retiring Tom out of the mines. That's Ooh. our goals. Yeah. Awesome. And what do you need to do to achieve financially? What would you need to be hitting regularly for you both not to be working? Is that a 15 or $20,000 a month, you know, for three months and then you'll be like, all right, we're safe. Like, what does it look like for you? So we both sat down and really looked at our budgets and everything and we really want to be looking at around eight grand a month. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Well, that's very achievable. I mean, you, oh, you'll yeah. be doing eight grand a month at 4A. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And 4A is only 20, 20 sales, you know, yeah. maybe, maybe... 13, 14 people. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Nothing. Awesome. <laughs> Perfect. Um, well, I think we've already gone over this a little bit, but who, who other than yourself is going to benefit from you being a 4A or you being a 6A or being successful in this kind of marketing? Um, my family, you know, my family in the UK, they're going to be able to see me more. And that was the goal of going to see them for six to eight weeks of the year. Um, and I've never been able to do that. So, you know, and my children, giving them um, experiences in life and not having to worry anymore about money. And that was a big thing for us, you know, being brought up with hardly anything yep. and seeing it now. Yeah. I understand. All right, beautiful. Did you watch the team meeting last night or any of I it? did. I was on, yes. Oh, what was your biggest takeaway from yesterday's team call? Oh, there was so much just about being consistent all the time. I really yep. think that's, that's number one for everybody, you know? And I think also resourcefulness is understanding that you've got the Build Your Employee University system that's so giving. It gives you so many different tools, but don't get yeah. lazy because of that. No. Like you, yeah. you need to take all those learnings and then go be an entrepreneur, be resourceful and yes. figure some shit out. Yeah, there's so much. There's so many <laughs> options in there, you know, there's so many different platforms as well that you can use. It's not just yeah. Facebook and Instagram, yeah. you know? Yeah, that's right. And what is it that you're doing at the moment to be able to generate leads or get interest in sales? Okay, so um, I was going for a stage of, I've had so many different ads going, which was good. Split testing, always have to split test. Um, I've got a really good likes campaign going at the moment. I think sitting at 22 likes, um, yep. which is awesome. Yep. So literally, I'm just speaking to all the people that I can. And that's yep. from the ads. That's from my likes campaign. But I'm also going out and doing the $1.80 strategy. That's amazing. Um, that's my number one at the moment. Oh, $1 really? $1 I love it. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Amazing. And then are you doing a little bit of outreach as well? Yeah. So, uh, I mean, when I go out and about as well, I, I speak to people all the time. I'm not yep. scared to tell them what I do and who I am yep. anymore, you know? Yep. Perfect. That's awesome. Um, all right. Well, so you're doing the dollar eighty strategy. You're speaking to people when you see them, and then you've done a bunch of ads as well. So realistically, you're just trying as many things as you can to see what it is that gets you the most leads, I guess. Yeah, and just being authentic and real and myself, you know. Who's, who's your ideal client? 
Um, mining. So people in the mines, like wives at home that are either stuck not doing anything or, you know, missing their partners. And I just really want to show them that there is another way out. Is there like FIFO mum groups and FIFO wife groups on Facebook and stuff? Perfect. Yep. Yes. Perfect. Too awesome. And there's another strategy and I haven't done it myself, so I can't teach it, but I know, you know, there would be a way that you'd be able to create your own FIFO wives group and build it to 10,000 people and drop heaps of value. And then through there, you could advertise on the banner up the top, your own business to freeing FIFO husbands or something, you know, that's an idea as yeah. well. That's awesome. Never thought Perfect. that. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll let you get going now. Um, I'm going to start the rest of my day in quarantine. I've got another eight days in this hotel room, but yeah, it was awesome. It'd be so to good to catch up with you when you're up this way. Yes, definitely. Um, we, the, the Jeep's getting done up as we speak. It's getting all the big rims and all. It's going to be looking great. Yeah. Um, I got um, awesome. the windows tinted like the Batmobile. Looks oh, good. yeah. <laughs> Looks good. So when we get up awesome. there, we'll definitely go out. I know Peter, um, Peter Kay, yeah. he's ready to start um, hanging out and building a brand like that as well. So you've been able to build a brand around awesome. the things that you love doing, hey? Yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. And that's what people need to understand in network marketing, when you've got a system and you've got sales funnels, that you can build a brand around the things that you love doing, drive traffic that way, um, and, and make Absolutely. money living your hobbies. And that's the best way, I feel, because you're having fun at the same time. You know? How do you close your sales? Do you use a webinar or do you close over the phone? I do both. I do, I give people the option. Some people aren't comfortable to jump on the phone. So, you mm -hmm. know, yeah, yep. whatever feels best for my, the people I'm speaking with, so. Perfect. All right, well, thanks for taking the time to jump on this. I'm gonna save it now and um, I'll speak to you on the next awesome. one. Awesome. Thanks, Brody. See you, legend. See ya.